What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's Ioana here, founder and CEO of Subwell. Today I got another shoe preview for you guys. This time it's the On Cloud Eclipse, slotting in to be another max cushion cruiser in this hyper competitive market segment. In this video, I'm gonna dive into all the specs, some pictures. I got a batch of six high quality pictures for you all today. and let you know my thoughts on where this is gonna slot into your lineup and the market at large. Before we get into it, my wife is forcing me to promote the site more so I got to tell you hello no I didn't see your text okay yeah okay no no it's fine maybe maybe I'll just all right where was I so the On Cloud Eclipse is shaping up to be a max stack running shoe in the vein of that ASIC Super Blast or that Saucony Triumph. From the pictures, we can see that there's a really thick stack of that midsole foam. And in the overall design and vibe of it, they're carrying through those same elements that we're seeing in the Cloud Surfer. So the upper looks almost identical to what we see in that Cloud Surfer. And then it's using those same Cloud Tech phase midsole pods. So if we look at the evolution of On over the past year and a half, two years, they started off with this Cloud Stratus. It's Helion foam, dual layers here, but it's firmer. And then they have the speed board up close to the foot and they moved on to what we see in the Cloud Monster here. They softened up the Helion foam a little bit and they made the pods bigger, still got the speed board through here. But this one is, it went to a bit softer direction, more compressive. Finally, we saw them take that even further with the Cloud Surfer, introducing an even softer variant of that Helion foam and going to that Cloud Tech phase formulation where it's not the pods anymore, but those computer generated slits. Now the summation of all of that is what we were seeing in the Cloud Eclipse, where we got this absolutely ginormous stack of Helion foam Cloud Tech pods and a speed board on the bottom of the shoe. Now in terms of weight, this thing is coming in at 10.8 ounces for a men's and 8.6 for a women's. This is gonna be on the heavier end of those Max Cushion Daily Trainer type shoes, probably closer to what we're seeing in the Gel Nimbus than what we're seeing in the Triumph. All right guys, let's get into the midsole. Now the midsole on the Cloud Eclipse here, it honestly looks like a cartoon. When I first saw these pictures, I thought someone did a mock-up. They took a picture of the Cloud Surfer and they took it in Photoshop and dragged the corners out of it. That's, that's what it looks like. It looks like someone dragged the corners down on the Cloud Surfer. But it turns out these pictures are legit and this is what the midsole actually looks like. So I don't have the specs of the height, but I know it's gonna be a six millimeter drop and I'm guessing we're gonna have at least 38 millimeters of stack back there, potentially above 40. Compared to the Cloud Surfer, that Cloud Surfer is coming in at 32 millimeters in the heel and 22 millimeters in, in the forefoot for a 10 millimeter drop. This one is gonna have a six millimeter drop. So I'm guessing maybe it's something like 42, 36 or 40, 34, maybe 38, 32. Mike, you tell me you got the specs. If you got the specs, drop them below. In terms of what foam we're using, it only says Helion on the back of the heel there. I'm going to assume it is the same Helion, standard Helion, Helion what they call super foam. It's their marketing terminology. It drives me up the wall, but I'm gonna assume it's that same EVA Olefin blend that we see in the Cloud Monster and that we see in the Cloud Stratus and that we see in the Cloud Surfer. And it is not the Helion HF or that PIVA based compound. We also see a heavily rockered profile here. Now that is pretty similar to what we're seeing on the Cloud Monster. If you look at this thing, especially in the front here, there's a huge rocker. It reminds me almost of the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3. Let me go grab that for you guys. That rocker reminds me a lot of what we see in shoes like the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3 and the A6 Gel Nimbus where they have these massive stacks of foam and they're using those rockers to make it a bit easier to control that huge amount of foam underfoot. All right, last thing to note here on the midsole, maybe I should have saved this for the outsole section. There is a plate in here. Now, there's a speed board that we're seeing through the bottom of the shoe. In the picture of the outsole, 
we can see it says speedboard and there's this black piece i can't tell if it's carbon or plastic i am gonna guess it's plastic because we're seeing the plastic plates in the cloud monster and cloud stratus and they call them the speedboard and these guys so likely that we're seeing a plastic speedboard here it's interesting that they put it on the bottom of the shoe i'm guessing it's to add more of that stability and also to add a softer feel because in these shoes where they place the speedboard up close to the bottom of the foot it definitely has a firmer snappier ride you can see look, look at this as i'm doing the bend it's not very flexible it's not very soft so by putting it at the bottom it's potentially going to just stabilize the platform but not make it as harsh as some of those other on shoes all right, heading up to the upper. Now, I've said this a million times, but On has got one of the best upper games in the biz. You can see here on the Cloud Stratus, they got this awesome lacing system where they run the laces through the front, the, the front of the shoe here and then back up. And the lockdown on all their shoes is just amazing. Looks like we're gonna have that same type of thing going on in the Cloud Eclipse here. It's got a really nice lacing system up on the sides of the upper. And then if we go around to the back of the shoe, it's pretty padded as well. So if you look at the Cloud Monster here compared to the Cloud Stratus, you'll see the Cloud Stratus is a lot more padded, it's a lot more comfortable, and this one they tried to lighten up the upper a bit. So it seems like they're trying to go for that nice padded, comfortable feel and the Cloud Eclipse as well. All right guys, now let's head down to the outsole. Now this is what I'm most excited about because On is finally using a different rubber layout on their outsoles. If we look at the Cloud Monster and the Cloud Stratus, you can see that they have these strategically placed rubber elements on the pods and it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's also just not the most coverage. You can see here on my Monster actually, it is pretty bad because I have a bunch of miles on it and it's completely falling off on the heel here. But it looks like they're going with more of that full rubber coverage on the forefoot. On the back, it's that strategic rubber placement, but at least from the pictures, it's suggesting that maybe this is a different rubber formulation. At least maybe a thicker rubber formulation than we're seeing in the other shoes. I'm hoping that this is a really durable shoe because with a lot of these high mileage max cushion shoes, that's what I look for, especially in shoes like the Triumph and the Nimbus. Those are shoes that you wanna be able to take a beating. So hopefully this on shoe is gonna go in that category as well with that rubber. In terms of who the shoe is gonna be best for, it looks like it's gonna be a nice comfortable shoe for those relaxed miles where you wanna take the load off the legs. On doesn't have a great max cushion shoe that delivers a soft ride. So it seems that this is where the Cloud Eclipse is slotting in and then they're adding that plate to make sure that it's not unstable. I have heard some complaints that the Cloud Surfer is unstable. So I'm guessing that's why they're adding the plate into that softer Helion foam. Going back to that speedboard combo to add more structure to the platform. So if you like shoes like the Gel Nimbus, if you like shoes like the Triumph, if you like shoes like the Endorphin Shift, this is gonna be the next one in that category to consider. Now the marketing copy that I got for the shoe, it was in some European language. I had to throw it into Google Translate to, to get it back to me, but it did say speed in there. So let me read this to you because this is where it's kind of throwing me for a loop. All right. The On Cloud Eclipse is a great shoe with excellent cushioning. Double layer of Cloud Tech cushioning under the tread pads dampens every step for ultimate comfort. Ready for more control and speed thanks to the built-in speed board in the midsole. So is that marketing copy or is that actually how they want the shoe to be used? I'm gonna guess it's marketing copy. If it has almost an 11 ounce weight for men, this is not gonna be a speed shoe. But with that heavily rock platform and the speed board I'm guessing you can pick up the pace a little bit but you're probably not gonna be running 530 miles in this on the regular all right guys so that's everything that we know about the on cloud Eclipse right now let me know in the comments if you're gonna pick this one up I'm super excited for it I can't wait till this hits the market I have heard it's coming soon I don't know exactly when but once it drops I'll be sure to get it on my feet and let you know my first thoughts as always thank you for watching thank you for liking and subscribing and I'll make sure to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in the world of performance running.